In this video, I'll tell you all you need to know about the basic interface for both the standard and pro editions of Live Interior 3D. Upon launching the program, you see Assistant, where you can select pre designed interiors to get you started quickly. We'll start by taking a look at the main window. To the left, we have the library panel with the supplied objects. There are three tabs Building Elements, Furniture, and the project tree. The project tree shows all of the objects included in your project and allows you to control their visibility as well as lock and unlock them. A preview of the object is shown in the 3D preview. To change the panel size or hide it, use the handle located at the bottom right. We have the 2D view toolbar where you can find the selection tool, straight wall tool for drawing walls, floor tools for creating custom tools and ceilings, Measurement and Annotation Tools for adding notes to your floor plan, Camera Tools for adding custom user cameras and creating videos, as well as the Zoom and Pan Tools. If the included objects aren't enough for you, the button with the red forklift opens the Google 3D Warehouse Browser, where you can search for and import Google SketchUp objects directly into your project. You can work in three modes by switching the main view. 2D for creating floor plans, 3D for viewing and refining your interior, and split mode, a combination of both. The 3D toolbar offers you a set of movement tools which allow you to walk through and look around your apartment. You can also use the movement wheel which appears when your mouse is in the lower center of the 3D view. Live Interior 3D offers three levels of rendering which add flexibility when utilizing the 3D environment. Shadows and lights, lights only, and no lights or shadows, which is the fastest mode. Camera button brings up the export dialog if you wish to save your 3D views as images or panoramas. The I button brings up the inspector. The first tab contains the object properties where you can change the properties of walls, furniture, columns, and other objects. Next we have the materials tab with the supplied material collection which you can apply to objects. Here you can also create your own materials. In the 2D properties tab you can change the appearance of the objects in 2D view. The cameras properties tab contains all of the cameras in the current project. Here you can add, delete, and switch between user cameras and movie tracks as well as record movies. In the Light Properties tab, you can change the luminosity and color of lamps and other light sources in your project. You can also change the external environment in the Environment panel. You can add and remove stories and change their properties in the Building Properties tab. Note that many of these tools have keyboard shortcuts which you can find in the Help Manual. And now a few words about the program preferences. The New Objects tab allows you to set measurement units, the scale, and default story height of new projects. The 3D Settings tab specifies how the picture will look in 3D. The Google 3D Warehouse tab gives you options for imported objects. The Miscellaneous tab handles such options as autosave functionality, 3D preview animation, and assistant. You can find detailed information about the program preferences in the Help Manual. That's it for the interface. 